if you saw a kid that had a skin infection, what would make you think it was a staph, potentially a resistant staph, and we use this term MRSA, which really refers to a staph that probably resistant to the classical staph drugs, uh, what would be your index of suspicion? Uh, again, there is no way from just looking at the lesion and trying to but say... So you were suspicious. What would but, be... Your... Right. So, but, but, but one of the, some of the characteristics of these new community-acquired MRSAs are that they tend to cause more extensive and more rapidly spreading uh, cellulitis, uh, large abscesses. And in some cases, these ulcerative necrotic lesions that have been compared to spider bites. So if you see those more sort of aggressive manifestations in this day and age, you should suspect uh, community-acquired MRSA. And uh, we think treat with one of the antibiotics against, such as clindamycin, um, to right from the start. From so the clindamycin is, is high in the list. There's some indication that maybe uh, 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 some other classes of drugs. Um, For the MRSA? Yeah, but what other ones? It was a trimester for himself on the toxazole, Bactrim, uh, Does have activity against the MRSA. So the off-sulfur medicine, something else too? Doxycycline, all the tetracyclines, those are being used in adult medicine to treat MRSA. So you keep away from penicillin derivatives and, mm -hmm. okay, and encephalosporins seem to be not working. They're right. not working. So once you're MRSA, you can pretty much count on no penicillin. What about Cipro? Uh, they're also, there's a high failure rate, high resistance rate, and it's recommended not to use clindamycin. So clindamycin, and what, how much per kilogram would you use in a kid? Um, usually it's uh, about 25 milligrams per kilogram per So day. it's a big dose. Yeah, it, it's per a kilogram. soft tissue, skin soft So normally it's 10 to 20, dose. but we're going a little bit above that now, aren't we? I, I haven't really distinguished uh, a different dose for MRSA. It was just, we, we tend to always use the higher dose. So about 20 to 25? Mm -hmm. And uh, what would make you decide we can't? this kid can't be treated on the outside? What would make you go into uh, a hospital situation? Right, a failure of response within 24 hours, rapidly spreading uh, area of redness, uh, any high fever, any generalized rash that doesn't seem to be... Um, from any other cause may actually be due to toxin production by the staph that's causing the local infection, but spreading uh, spreading a toxin systemically, which could rapidly result in occurrence of toxic shock and similar manifestations. So, we do have to be careful with these newly emerging MRSA. They are uh, not only more locally invasive, but they actually have some toxin production that can uh, cause rapid sepsis and even death. So, so if it kids start to spread quickly. It was on clindamycin. You put the kid in the hospital. What would you try to do with the hospital that's different? Uh, generally, that we would, uh, if, if the child came and failed clindamycin yeah. or got worse, we would usually use vancomycin. And, and I, we haven't found them vancomycin resistant in the New York area? There's been actually one reported case of three confirmed nationally. So, fortunately, it's still the, the lid is on that, but uh, we don't know, you know what, what lies in the future. But right now, the only. Um, drug to fall back on is vancomycin. Is there any drugs uh, potentially coming down the road? That there are some vancomycin family glycopeptide and related antibiotics and even a new cephalosporin that does have activity against MRSA. Cephalosporin is on the market now? Uh, none, none on the market right now. Is there a vaccine in the works? I heard there's a potentially vaccine coming uh, out. I think there's now increased research dollars being allocated to this growing national problem, but there's no vaccine on the horizon yet. Well, I heard that our, uh, in my hospital, our, uh, our pulmonologist, allergist, mm -hmm. heard about one company is trying to develop one. It's in the there middle. are some efforts, but to my yeah. knowledge, they're still uh, still you know, still early, ten early years stages. away. It, 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 it could it, be accelerated, depending. It all depends on national priorities and research. I mean, this could be stepped up, uh, and then as long as more attention dollars go into it, we may have a vaccine sooner. But it's been a difficult vaccine to develop.